Hey everyone! Today I decided that I wanted to play around with soldering. Mainly soldering with soldering iron. Typically you use a soldering iron to do like electrical work, soldering electrical wires together or like a circuit board or something. But there are some people that use soldering iron with that kind of solder to make crafts. So I'm not the best at it but I wanted to try my hand at making something with wire and solder today. I'm gonna try to make a little stand for my beauty blender. If you're not familiar with the beauty blender, it's just a sponge that you use to put your makeup on. Typically, you wet them before you use them, so you have to, you know, put it aside to dry between uses. And usually I just kinda like toss it on my vanity and let it dry out like that, but I've been looking for some kind of stand to put it in so that it can like fully air dry like properly. So yeah, I decided that I would try to make one today. So let's get started. The list of materials and tools that I used for this will be listed in the description box below. I cut two lengths of wire. I eyeballed these, but basically the big wire, when formed into a circle, is just slightly bigger than the widest part of my beauty blender after it's been soaked in water. The smaller one is a bit smaller, so the base will rest nicely into it. I took these pieces, formed them into circles, and then using this third hand thing, I held it in place and soldered the ends together. Now, like I mentioned, this solder is technically just meant to do electrical work, like soldering electrical wire together or soldering points on a circuit board, but it does make a strong enough bond for a project like this. I also want to mention that yes, I know my soldering technique is probably pretty shitty, but I can't get better without practice, right? Well, this is me practicing. I figured if I kept doing little projects like this, my technique will only get better. Hopefully. Anyway, once both circles have been soldered, I cut three pieces of wire to be about three-fourths of an inch or so. I put the big circle down onto the table. I put one of these pieces that I just cut into the third hand, and then I positioned it onto the circle, angling it inward like so. And then I soldered these together. I repeated this for the other two pieces, roughly an equal distance away from each other. I should note that if you care about the surface of your table, you should put something down to protect it while doing a project like this. A piece of wood or a sheet of uncorrugated cardboard should work well. This is my workbench. Obviously, I have paint and cuts in the wood and all this stuff, so I don't really care about burning the surface, so I didn't bother with that. At this point, I adjusted the newly soldered pieces a bit, and then I placed the smaller circle so that the side pieces held it in place like so. Then I soldered where the small circle hit the side pieces. I set that aside to cool while I worked on the legs of the stand. Now I went back and forth on if I wanted to do something super simple, like tiny hairpin legs or something like that, but ultimately I ended up deciding to do ones that I've seen randomly while putzing around on the internet. Little chicken feet. I thought that looked pretty darn cute. So I cut two pieces long enough to make the legs. I wanted them to connect to the top circle and then connect to the second circle and then maybe have half an inch of space between the bottom of the circle and the ground. So I cut those accordingly. And then I cut a piece that wasn't too long that would create the middle and the back toes and then two smaller pieces to make up the other two front toes. I positioned the small lengths of wire into a bird foot like shape. Then, you guessed it, soldered everything together. I made sure to flip this piece and solder onto the bottom, just to make sure everything was secure. Then I heated up the solder on top again and gently stuck the leg wire piece into the solder and continued to push the solder around until I felt like they were sufficiently stuck together. Please note that I was using the third hand again to hold the wire. This wire gets hot super quick, so to minimize burns, just try to avoid touching the wire with your bare hands. Once I made both of the legs, I used the file to flatten out the bottoms of the bird feet so that it would be able to stand later. At this point, I snipped off the excess wire from the bottom of the circle piece. 
I marked on either side of the circle piece where I wanted to connect the legs and then I positioned one of the legs on and soldered it in place. Then I pushed it in until it hit the second circle, soldered at that point, and then repeated this for the second leg on the other side. Once it was cool, I could reposition the wire to make it stand. Now, my solder points were looking pretty rough. The soldering tip needs a good cleaning, or maybe even to just be replaced, but also my technique sucked, so yeah. I used my flex shaft with a sanding bit to sand down a bit of the messy solder. If I was more skilled at soldering, I could potentially skip this step, but, well, I'm not, so I gotta fix my mistakes. And now, I could call it done, but I wanted to slap a quick coat of paint on just to make it look a bit more finished, so I used this white lacquer spray paint that I have and sprayed it on. After that dried, my little beauty blender stand was done. Now this thing can actually dry out properly and look cute doing it. Now, I know it does look kind of rough still. I don't know if I would ever make one of these and gift it to anyone, but for my own purposes, it'll work just fine. Maybe once I have more practice with this, I'll try this project again and see just how nice and neat I can make it look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. If you're interested in following me on any of my social media, the links to those will be down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them. It's totally optional, I'll still be making videos either way, it just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.